All right, back in action. Map number three, tied up now 1-1. One, one. And it's only the first match of the day. Not a lot of pressure right now. This does determine who goes to the winner's match and who goes to the loser's. But, of course, everybody wants to be a winner. Spawning in the top right corner of the map from Dust Gaming. It's your unlikely mechie hero, Das Schnitzel. Man, that just says even more German. Like, Das, das Schnitzel. Mm. <laughs> in the bottom left, <laughs> as the yellow Zerg, it's Root Cats. Now it just sounds like rude cats. I can't do this anymore. Like, the names don't sound like what they mean. Ugh. It's like you repeated them 20 times. They sound like nothing. Oh, that is so... I hate when that happens. You, like, say cookie, like, 40 times, and all of a sudden you're like, what am I... Ugh. Yeah, I say my name 20 times. I'm just like, what is it even really... Wait? Well, I'm really curious to see if uh, that was as a consequence of the map, or if that was his comfort zone. Mech has definitely got a very interesting uh, spot in this matchup, but I think... I mean... I really hope he doesn't misidentify Mech as Cats' as weakness. Like, that was just a pretty sick, uh, pretty sick push. I don't even love the timing behind it, but it worked out really nicely for him. So, uh, whether it was the early game harass that kind of caught Cats a little off guard, whether it was his choice to go heavy on the Banshees, whatever the case may be, we'll see what Schnitzel chooses to do this game, because I think a lot of this really... It, it's not the actual... Like, he could have played Bio after getting that many drone kills early on, and Price still had somewhat similar results. I mean, a lot of the early game pressure that hurts a Zerg player it echoes through the rest of the game. If you lose like 20 drones early, it's worse than losing even 100 drones in the late game. I'm looking at pictures of Schnitzel right now. I know, Borsty tweeted them, man. I uh, haven't had dinner. It's I, don't think, I don't think I actually knew what Schnitzel was, to be honest. I think it was like German. I thought it was a cookie. Yeah, I thought it, I, I was imagining it must be something else that starts like a sh sound, but like the pastry. I don't know what I was thinking. Schnickel Fritz. No, no. And not Snickerdoodle Eater. Snickerdoodle. But... Oh, yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Man, can we stop talking about food, please? This is like I didn't eat before this cast. Normally I do. <laughs> I didn't, uh, My I mom's making up. dinner right now. It smells delicious. Hey, I'm sorry, but I've got a mom that's cool that does stuff and lives with me. Ugh. I, well, I live with her, so it's, you know, it's a. You gotta, you, you, you gotta right own here. it. You gotta own it, girl. She lives with you. She pays for everything. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah, <the life. laughs> I remember too, like when I was in high school, I was so like keen on moving out, and like now I really wish it was like, yo, I wish I lived at home. So I wish I had like all this like not oh, responsibility. No, I, spent, I spent a year in like dorm, you know, for like college, like four hours away. I had terrible roommates. Never again. Not roommates, any of his. Maybe alone, alone. <laughs> The first time I moved out, the first time I moved into with a bunch of buddies uh, in like uh, main city, and that did not last long because we were all bad with responsibility and no one paid rent, and we got kicked out after three months. So that was good. Wow, wow. But it's okay. Awesome. I learned my lesson after that and moved out with my sister. <laughs> my uh, my friend is currently in a situation where she bought a camera to uh, track her roommates because they're crazy. Oh, that's not good. Ah, uh, this that's Reaper. Awesome, right? Yeah, he's, uh, he's last game he was actually really, or well, the first game I should say. Uh, uh, both yeah, last game, really last game was awkward scouting is what last game was. Yeah, right, there was no Reaper. Uh, so anyways, uh, yeah, he's been really dangerous with his Reaper, like, <laughs> down to one health every single time I've seen it. You know, cats could take this opportunity to actually go across the map if the Reaper's gonna go all the way over well, there. What I'm shocked about is the fact that he is running away so hardcore. He scouted no gases! He knows know, there's like, not gonna be that six minute turn speed. Turn around, turn around, no. Okay, well he's also, um, by the way, game one get caught off guard by this early third CC, and I think uh, the case might be again, because Kat sees this blatantly coming down the front door. I really hate this, you know? Like, there's like like ro like six just, roaches in the early game is going to screw you up, and then like, you know, you show that you're going greedy so they can be greedy, and uh, there's just so much more mystery to this game anymore, you know? There's no romance. I just... <laughs> I feel like <laughs> I can't get past that comment, but I, I feel like Schnitzel didn't perhaps do the best homework on his opponent. Because again, it's not scouting build orders from Cats. Cats doesn't really do build orders per se. It acts to your build order more so. So I mean, third base coming down very well could be a fake yet again. He may go for the Roach Bailey on this uh, all in. I don't know. We'll wait to see the timings on the Bailey Nest and the Roach Horn. But at the same time, like if he's going to choose to instead punish him with uh, an all in, but instead try and out greed him, Cats is the guy who get that. You give him that gold, he'll be in a good spot. <laughs> There's a Schnitzel bot that's like following me now. Because we're tweeting a Schnitzel. <laughs> Man, I love. Favors anything. I love when Twitter does that. It's like every time I talk about Yoda, like the player, I'll have like three Yoda accounts, like Star Wars Yoda <laughs> accounts, follow me for like a day and then unfollow me. Uh, that's so dumb. Um, <clears throat> okay, so Cats. I mean, so far, right? He didn't get gases, but he's got them now. So. If we're gonna see an all in or like any indication of an all in, it's gotta be soon. Ah, uh, we just get caught here. That was without speed too, so that's uh, a little embarrassing. <laughs> 
But here comes the Hellions. Queens are out of position, so once again, gonna try and dive through that mineral line. Uh, it's always a little bit hard on the way you try to take this, but decent splits here. It's about eight kills, so already off to a good start, but he's gotta make up for those Reapers, so a few more. <laughs> Eleven drones dead, not too bad. A couple of the Lings as well. I really yeah. wish he would have got scouting towards the main. Seen oh, those double gases. Kind of a big he's deal. not even taking a chance. He's like tank and marauders. <laughs> this is what he's like, yo, what if this was like some mind gaming where he like he's like, alright, you know what? You did it the first time, let me bait you into an all-in that I'm gonna hold and then win the game off of. Yes, that would work. Maybe. Well, Cass isn't doing it anyway, so he might be going into Roach Hydro, however. Um, you know, he is getting a Roach Warren. He didn't bother getting speed. Seems kind of like it. Mm. Uh, it's all about this tank positioning too. Man, I, you put the tank too close to the ledge, you put the tank <clears throat> too close to the wall. Like I understand the logic if you want to <clears throat> shoot sooner, but it just exposes the tank. Like keep it alive safe by the CC is probably the best place for it. This one's not too bad either. You know, he'll probably still need tanks, but oh, I would've... Just... He's not actually going super all in with this. He's actually got the upgrades coming. Yeah, okay. Um, But like, I would've loved to just actually scan the main, cause he would have seen the lair more like morphing in and would have known that a second tank isn't necessary. It is in this situation because it is going to be Roach and probably Roach Hydra, but just like, you know, in any other situation, he would have had, you know, an awkward wow. second tank that usually doesn't really help out uh, versus Ling Hi or Ling Muta Bailing. But uh, double scan now. Ooh, yeah, a little bit paranoid to say the least. But now he knows that, like, you know, further tank production actually is uh, maybe necessary, so. If he was gonna swap, he doesn't have to. Well, uh... I mean, the defensive setup is kinda cool. Cats, whether he actually falls too far into this, I mean, the nice thing about roaches is they're really not that expensive, right? So you can actually make 20 roaches without it screwing over your economy, without it forcing you to be quote-unquote all-in. Mm -hmm. he, he does still switch over the factory. We still don't really know if Cass is going to go for Roach Hydra or if he is going to um, uh, change, transition over after this 1-1 one, one Roach attack. Um, but it is just, you know, I guess he'll wait and see what actually, if he, if he does scan the uh, the Hydra center, he sees it with a drop or something, he will continue with the tank production. But for now, it's just a normal <clears throat> bio production. Um, annoying creep like it, the third will be cleaned up here in a moment. But, um... Yeah, so I kind of actually like that we've seen two different styles of the schnitzel, I suppose you could call it. I mean, it's it's really cool seeing when a, tech, t uh, Mara players, uh, bleh, a Terran player is able to play mech. There we go, finally got that one out. Uh, but it's another to see them play bio right after, because you expect this out of players like Major, Bunny, the Crazy Foreigners, and their Koreans, but not against a uh, random NA hero schnitzel. Uh, these roaches are going to get right up in front of the tanks, but this bio has got the DPS to keep them alive. The only thing is, there's no medevacs. Yeah, the so, medivacs are late. Uh, Schnitzel not the fastest on transferring yeah. over that factory and starport, but even without them, he still takes the fight. Yeah, but he takes so many losses for it. I mean, that's the problem. Yeah. Like, these, this bio, this marines, uh, yeah, they're cheap and you can replace them fairly easy, but I kind of feel like you could easily replace roaches more easily. <laughs> it was, you know, unnecessary losses, really. Had he known, you know, had he been a little more, you know, faster on the medivac count, maybe a little faster on the combat shield as well, because there was like 10 seconds. <laughs> Where uh, Cats hit the perfect uh, timing, as it were, but he's still, you know, he's still all right. He lost his tanks. Now is a great time to go ahead and try and, you know, drop everywhere. Uh, again, you you're not quite sure if they're going to dedicate to this. So like Spire could technically be on the way, but you got to at least try, uh, even if it's just for the the scouting purposes. But it is going to be Roach Hydra, so. Roach Hydra is definitely the strategy that uh, we've seen a lot of people struggle with. The best people, the worst people. Uh, I think the reason is like the style is just so different from what you're used to anticipating as a Terran player. I, the bottom line of this is going to boil down to though, not just like unit composition on Snitzel, because I mean tanks are good to have, but they're not the end all be all. Uh, it's positioning though. Same thing. It's kind of like watching Roach vs Roach fights. Like if you've got the concave as bio, you're going to take a good engagement versus Roach Hydra. But if they've got the concave, they're probably going to squish you. Yeah. Looks like Cats is going to think about going uh, straight up to Hive. Ooh, this needs to be uh, bold. Ooh little bit late to the party as he's already on top of this bio and he's just kind of got an overwhelming amount of roaches here. Yeah, I'm very surprised he's able to stop making tanks. Um, <laughs> you don't, you can get rid of them after a while against Roach Hydra, like once your 2-2 two -two is done or your 3-3, three -three, but I mean, in the beginning stages, it's just a lot safer way to play, you know? It's, it's a little more boring and it's, you know, more defensive to bunker up and get tanks, but it is 
the best way not to die to this. Yeah. Creep spread, by the way. <laughs> Everywhere. Yeah, uh, we didn't really talk about this, but Katz has got pretty much control of the map. It's looking a lot better, too, because when we do see, like, bio players especially, like, for Terran, you, you'll play any style off three base, okay, that's your comfort zone, but if you can't lock down that fourth, if you're playing bio, it feels really problematic, because you're supposed to have a little more map control as bio. You're supposed to be able to get these drops off, because there's no mutas to stop you. I mean, Schnitzel's playing incredibly defensive, and I think that alone is going to kill him in this game. There should be marine drops going to the, the main. There should be a marauder drop here at the natural or the third, I mean... The worst thing about Rich Hydra is you have to scramble to defend. You don't have fast mobility like Speedlings and Mutalisks. Yeah, but when you don't have tanks and bunkers to defend, you're thinking, like, I need every single Marauder and Medivac that I have. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I understand his thought process. Everybody's been in this situation at some point playing Rich Hydra, but it's, uh, I just feel like the best defense Ooh. is a good offense, right? You know, keep cats at home instead of attacking you, then you expand. But it's kind of, I almost feel too far gone with the creeps being what it is. There's no way he's sneaking out Medivacs. Yeah. Cats has vision of the entire map. I mean, jokes aside, map hacking is basically what Zerg players do. Well, taking this fight straight up might not go so well for Cats. Cats actually missed out on this plus two carapace, whereas it's only 2 2 just finished. Yeah, a little bit awkward for the Hunter, some attacking refinery, the command center, uh, DPS here really. Oh, there's split, a whole other uh, part of, like, the roaches are actually attacking. Those roaches could have been really key in this. Uh, his attack, but they just wow. took down a couple of supply depots. Yeah, that actually supply cap blocks. It's not just a like regular supply block. Third base, oh, not third base, but gold base being taken by cats on the other side of the map. Hey. That's some <laughs> ballsy things to do. Shinzo might actually not see this. He's been so intent on fighting around his own third and trying to clean out creep out here. I mean, he's heading over you there now, so maybe he'll, maybe he'll catch this. Oh, he's not seen it with the scan even. Yeah, you still want to clear up creep for sure. But it's like, it's not exactly the same slow push you have to do against like Ling Bailing. Um, you, you just you never want to go on creep. Uh, and of course, again, now we have to bring back to the whole drop. You know, he took a good engagement. Cats has to remax, and it's probably going to be a little offensive. Start dropping everywhere. The fact you're letting cats get away with five bases, and he's starting to creep up both of your bases, that's a big problem. I mean, yeah. does he even have a fourth to move over? No, he doesn't. That no, needs to come that's... down to I feel like Schnitzel is going to starve out of this game. Cats could just trade pretty unevenly and still win. Uh, and a lot of that's yeah. going to come down to just the way he's able to remax. But um, again, takes like a poor start at the engagement. Let some free shots go off for the Terran player. But there's a lot of medevacs here. 2-2 two, two, matching 2-1. Two, and he's actually going to push him back a little bit. Never, Not too bad. He never really gets his concave that you usually see from Roach Hydra. He always goes into like, you know, the, the oh, chokes. Just that like failings? really big chokes, but, or small chokes. Wait, does he have any yeah. speed? No, no, he doesn't even have like link speed. So I thought he was gonna go for brute lords. He got a spire There's down. There's no bailing nest either. This is just a lot of slow links. Is Cat this getting must be desperate? Just... I mean, why maybe. would he though? I feel like he was in such a good spot. Back up to the spines, maybe a little bit. Don't waste the hydras. They have no health. The glass cannons, cats. You know this. I think that like that the missing plus two carapace and the fact that he didn't actually like. He's not really using this hive, right? He accelerated like kind of fast to the hive, you know, and the other Roach Hydra players actually stay on lair for a very long time. And he's not getting 3-3. He didn't get Vipers. He tried to get Blue Lords, I imagine, but obviously he didn't have the chance to. It, it all does away. come back down to Schnitzel maybe mining out of this game, though. Like, if he had a fourth base, he would actually probably be like winning this hardcore. But maybe Cats can bring it back despite losing these engagements. Uh, he's really down in supply and he's not taking a good engagement. So. At Ooh. all. It's getting a little bit worse. Like I joked about getting desperate with those slowlings, but that might just be the case. He's exhausted his bank. Schnitzel is actually doing pretty freaking good. And it's like, cats, bro, what are you doing? I don't know, man. <laughs> he's, he's finally transferring a lot of drones, I suppose. His mind is a uh, main was getting mined out, his natural as well. Um, Blind but he's clouds kind of, would be cool. I like that. I feel like he's kind of like, he's not sure what his end game actually wants to be. Um, you know, he got the hive again, but didn't do anything with it. Now he has vipers, but like blinding clouds, they can help. You always say that they're kind of like Zerg's force fields, but they're not really all that great against bio. You know, that's usually when they have like 16 uh, tanks that they really start to add in. I, I definitely think it's better for the tanks, of course, but hell, even if you just get like three seconds of like no shots, it's like throwing out a point defense drone. You know, you just soak up a couple of hits or force them to walk away for an engagement, but drones being pulled into this, blinding cloud does go down. And force run away from it. I actually don't mind the abducts of the medevacs. These have been what's been powering this bio, but uh, Katz is a really low army supply count. He's going to rely three, on these. Three. He needs Versus those blinding clouds. I, he doesn't I have the juice. The blinding clouds, clouds are going to help him here either. The, it's a, it's at a point with 3-3 three, three that bio actually does start winning just straight. Is Schnitzel so actually going to do this? It looks I mean, like it. 
This is his I mean, push to win. He's got such a big supply lead. What has happened to three base Terran? It's with the knockdown Roach Hydra off the of five bases. What the? What the woods? Hydra's gonna try and hold the line here, but uh, even with the blind clouds coming down, it's not gonna help enough. Yikes! Cast of Shivas, level three upgrades as well. This is 52 drones dead. He's got no money, Zombie Grub. He can't. He's got everything on the line with his last pull. You think there is some like you know overconfidence in this game? I, I mean, feel like the that's the days. case. Um, yeah, I don't know if he took the the buy army seriously, and he did take great engagements first off. He probably thought he was.